not so fast. I certainly hope that arrow wasn't intended for me. How rude. But honestly, just what I'd expect from someone in the Fire King's army. You are shivering. Is that from the cold? Or are you scared? <laughs> Both, I assume. Good. You shattered my ice soldiers. Perhaps I should avenge them. You have no fire within you. Your king sends you to my land, without any power or help. For what? To melt away any competition? And who pays the ultimate price? Not him. No. Of course not. His people do. You do. But I suppose you are partly to blame. You blindly follow your leader into battle and do his dirty work. Me? Now that is where I am different. My people reside in the safety of my powers. They are at their homes. While my creations of ice go to war for me. Not one life is sacrificed. Every single time. You chose the wrong side. All that is left for you is the mercy of my eyes, should I allow it. Ah, so your king has decided to bring out the big guns. Fireballs, I assume. Very well. I must reinforce my barriers of ice. You? I will put you to sleep. So, you have finally woken up. Oh, no need to be alarmed. We won't help you. Really. I'm afraid I have frozen your lower half to that chair I created. I'm not sure what you would do if I didn't. But worry not. You are well insulated with that feeble armor your king has provided you with. You are in my banquet hall. Quite remarkable, is it not? The blend of blue and white. The glistening of the eyes. All this space. Just you and me. You are here because I want to have a chat. Just a friendly dialogue. I just want you to know I'm not as cold as my exterior. But first, the meal. You must be hungry. Please, make yourself at home.
Your kingdom has food. Yes. You act as though you have never seen food in your life. Ah, I see. You must be suspicious of any toxins my chef placed inside it. Very well. I will eat some of it. Like so. Please, go ahead. Delicious, isn't it? I shall tell my chef that his work is much enjoyed. Down to business, is it? Very well. I shall brush any remaining formalities aside. In this kingdom, violence is very much frowned upon. As the king, I naturally try to discourage it. But unfortunately, with constant threats imminent, such as your attack, my people must be ready to defend themselves at any time. My powers are immense. I do choose to live a humble life. But I am not ignorant of the fact that my power is envied or feared by many. Hence I understand that other kingdoms would like me removed. But your king, he is powerful. Fire is a dangerous magic. I tend to distance myself from rumours. I prefer facts. But I repeatedly hear rumours of your king. How he is a terrible ruler. Gains power at the extent of others. Primarily by eliminating his competition. And working his people to death. And upon seeing you... My suspicions have been proven. Traditionally, kings would send their strongest men into war. They would be well fed and looked after, and equipped with armour that would actually protect them. But look at you. You are clearly starved, untrained, and wearing something akin to parchment paper as if that could stop a bee sting. And seeing your expression to having genuine food in front of you tells me that that was likely the best meal you have had in your life. So, tell me, how much of that was correct? So, you want to know what happened since you got here? Why I froze you? My dear, you were nothing more than a minor distraction from something bigger. Your army was raining down fireballs onto us, and I had to deal with that quickly. But if I had turned my back, you would have killed me. Am I correct? My thought as much. So... I put you into a brief cryo-sleep, similar to hibernation. Your body shuts down, putting you into a comatose state. It has been one day. In that time, I summoned a heavy blizzard onto your army. I hope the casualties were minimal. And now, here you are. But I wish to know. We have never met before, so it wasn't personal, I assume. Why did you seek to kill me? Because your king ordered you to. But what would you get in return for your deed? Adequate food and shelter. Hmm, is that it? 
for the bare minimum of anything resembling a standard of living. You would risk your lives for your king. That is rather tragic. Do you know who I am? King Cryonide, yes. But what of my history? Would you let me entertain you with my tale? Once there was a lightning kingdom. Yes, that one. With that infamous ruler, a very evil mage, who overthrew his king. This mage was much like your king, desired power, and that greed destroyed his people, very much like how your king is destroying yours. Some people are born with magic in their blood, I do not know why. But in that kingdom, anyone possessing any form of magic was executed without exception. This was to ensure that no one from within that kingdom would ever rise up and take that mage's place. I was young. I became aware of my power when my parents were beaten for being unable to pay their taxes. That burst of emotion triggered it. My entire village froze. And in doing so, killed every person residing there. That is a guilt I will never overcome. Of course, I knew I had to flee. My days were numbered. So I gave up. Why should I continue living? What was there to live for? Emerging from a snowstorm I created, a figure with nine tails came to me. This was a fox spirit. Legends say that they punish the bad and they guide those who need it. After learning that it wasn't just my imagination, I believed that I would be punished for taking the lives of my people, even if I did not mean to. But I spent time with this spirit. Together, we paved a path to my destiny. Together, I knew what my purpose in life was. But once I found it, the fox had disappeared from my life forever. Now, you must be wondering, what purpose was it that I discovered? I could use my powers for good. That kingdom I fled from was one of many. There were always suppressed people who had no way out. So, after mastering my power, I built a new kingdom with my eyes. I would find those, or sometimes they would find me. People who were lost, close to death, or just need guidance. I would hear their story, then offer them a safe place to live. Well, I am just a self-proclaimed king, or prince, or whatever, I came to learn that my power is not enough to grant one such a title. I had no idea what I was doing. Currency had to be made. As the population grew and grew, I had to find ways to keep order and give everyone a place in society. I just want people to have normal lives here. Hence, I don't do this alone. I have advisors to help me. 
I see you looking at me with the look of confusion evident on your face. Do you have family? You do not. Then what remains for you in that kingdom? In that case, I would like to offer you a place in my kingdom to live. One to thrive. One of safety. Of course, you have all the time you need. But inform me when you reach a decision. Unfortunately, I will not permit you to meet my people yet because you haven't gained my trust. I know you are desperate, doing what you can for your king just to survive. Oh, our visitors are back. I must tend to that. Please, have as much food as you want. I expect to return shortly.